Hello everybody! Hello everybody! And is everybody doing all right? <laughs> oh, I am so delighted to hear that. And as you can see, I have a special guest with me today. Father Ludovic is here. Say hello to Father Ludovic! <laughs> oh, thank you so very much. Well, I am delighted that he is here because today we are going to make a flight. But he made a flight just the other day to come here. You know, this was the view from the terminal building. Where was it? In Milano, yes? yes. In Milano. And this was the view of the tarmac. Look at the clouds in the background. This was Italy when he left. And of course, all of those people are queuing up to get on board. What kind of an aeroplane was it you were on? Who? Ryanair. Ryanair, of course. And when he got here, we had sunshine, but it's Italy had cloud. So we were not doing too bad. But today is his last day. And now cloud come into England and Italy is what temperature? We have a 24 degree. Ah, 24 degrees. And what do we have here? 12. 12. A magical 12. 12 degrees. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, well, I can't imagine why he would want to go back to Italy when we have 12 degrees here. Oh, well. So what are we going to do today? Well, we are going to take a flight down the west coast of the United States. Dr. Steve is a sim enthusiast who lives and practices medicine in Portland, Oregon. And he wrote me a couple of weeks ago to ask me to do a flight between Portland, which is KPDX, to San Francisco, which is KSFO. Which, of course, we are delighted to do. Are we delighted? We are delighted. Yes, yes we, are we delighted. are delighted to do that. Now, we have some very good and very detailed sceneries for this. Portland KPDX scenery is by Flight Beam Studios. Very detailed, very nice. And San Francisco KSFO airport scenery is also by Flight Beam Studios. Beautiful detail. What we'll do, as I checked, I had a look to see if there were any flights between Portland and San Francisco. And there are, as a matter of fact, there are lots of flights that go between those two points. So I picked one that was United Airlines. United Airlines flight 1632. 1632. Or if you want to, you put in UA1632 and that will bring up the information on Flight Aware. So we're going to have a good, good time today. And he will be captain. I will be co-pilot today. He will be captain flying the route today. And you know why we do this uh, flight? Why? Because it was a doctor prescription. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh yeah, it was that doctor's prescription. That's a good one. I hadn't thought of that. That's good, that's good. <laughs> All right, now time I think to go into pre-flight and let's check the weather and find out what we're into. Oh my goodness me. Well, here we are in pre-flight and we're looking at 
United Airlines Flight 1632, as you can see up here. And here are the other designators that will help you to find this particular page. Now, this particular flight left Portland, Oregon at gate Echo 5. I don't know if we can find the same one, but we will try if we can. We'll look for that. Anyway, Flight Aware is reporting that this arrived over nine hours ago at gate F17 in San Francisco. We'll try to make the same gate as well. So if we can, we'll try to depart from gate E5 and arrive at gate F17. We'll try. Down here is the route. Here you can see there is a pretty straightforward route straight down the west coast of the United States down to San Francisco. And looking at the altitude, Looks like they were at 37,000 feet going down there. I don't know if we will get the same, but we'll have to see. The taxi time was 10 minutes or less at Portland. And the arrival time, taxi time was four minutes, which is very, very good. So that is good news. Now, looking down below at the aircraft details, one of the things that it does in America is that they give you the filed altitude route because the data comes up here and it's 37,000 feet. The distance was actually 531 nautical miles. And this is the actual flight route that they filed when they made their flight plan. And up here, it says that it is a Boeing 737-800, which is exactly, of course, what the famous Ryanair 186 is. Good. So we're going to try to follow that. Now, here's Windy. Windy.com is reporting, oh, coming pretty much from the south. So it's reporting here that the wind is 160 degrees at seven knots and 10 statute miles as the visibility of clouds broken at 4,600 feet overcast at 6,000 feet. Temperature is a chilly 11 degrees. We are actually warmer than it is in Portland. How about that, Dr. Steve? We are warmer in England than you are in Portland. And it is reporting, of course, VFR, which is good. And the altimeter is showing 30.18, which is just a little a bit above standard. Looking at the runways. Well, if the wind is coming from the south, we won't be using this short runway, I do not think. So... Perhaps this one or that one. I don't know which one they will assign us to, but we will have to see what air traffic control decides to give us. And here's windy.com for San Francisco. Here you can see there's some pretty fast wind coming in off the Pacific Ocean uh, to rush across the peninsula here of San Francisco. It says the wind is 280 degrees and look at the speed. It is 18 knots. So it's a very stiff wind. Visibility is 10 statute miles. There are a few clouds at 20,000 feet. Wow. So we should have some good visibility coming into San Francisco. Temperature is a chilly 11 degrees. And altimeter is, again, slightly above standard, which is 29092, because here it is showing 30.31. So that is the conditions and also VFR. Looking at the runways, the likelihood is it's going to be one of these two runways right here. Which one? I don't know that which one we'll be using. Perhaps it will be the one on the right, which would then make it 
two eight right. I think that would be it. Yes, two eight right. And which case then we would come in and try to come in at one of these terminal buildings here. What was the number? It was F F F seventeen. I'm not sure at the minute where F seventeen is on here, but we will try to find it and try to do the same thing. Right, let's go into sim brief. We are Ryanair, we are 186, and we are departing from KPDX, and we are going to go to KSFO. Here is our airframe, and we are course Cruise Profile 6, there's our registration. It says that the whole flight time is, this is block time now, from time that they close the door to opening it, is 1 hour and 55. It's calling for a departure on 10 right at Portland and an arrival, 28 right, at San Francisco. Not bad. Passengers, of course, we are full because we have one ton of complimentary champagne and caviar. Now, this is interesting. Look, they've given us this for the route. So it's the Mini 5 departure, and it's the BD... Uh, I'm not sure what the BD uh, GA3, but it's that's the arrival coming into San Francisco and it's showing total distance of 517 and here is the route coming all the way down and if things go pear-shaped then Sacramento is where we go all right we will save this I'm not going to put in an altitude San Francisco not Sacramento oh Sacramento well, I, I said Sacramento was the alternate, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. And San Francisco, of course, is where we're going. I'm glad that you're here to help me out with this, Father Ludovic. Otherwise, I may end up where I don't intend to go. Ha! Ah, good for you. All right. We will save the flight. And then we'll generate it. And here is what it's given us. It's given us a cruise altitude of 35,000. And here's the block fuel of 7,078 kilograms. Airtime is one hour and 30 minutes. And going down, Ryanair 186 is where we are. Here is the flight altitude. And right here, is the flight route. Going down, there's the information we need about San Francisco. We need to know that we are cost index 6. We will need to know the average wind and speed for the flight uh, cruise altitude. Down here, this of course is the block fuel that we're going to need to make sure that we have on board. And then reserves are 2,451. And the trip and the taxi is going to take 4,001 kilograms. Just a tad over 4 metric tons for the trip. No tankering recommended. Now here is the official route. And if this is the way it works out, I'm going to put this in the description box below. Otherwise, if it's a different route that we end up having to take because the wind changes, then I'll post the changes in the actual route and correct that in the description box. And the next thing we're going to need to know is the information for the descent. We will need to know the wind direction and speed at flight level 200, which is 20,000 feet, 
and then for flight level 150 which is 15,000 feet and this of course is flight level 100 or 10,000 feet. Now here we are we're looking at the weather that is expected and you can see that there is quite a bit of wind coming in from the Pacific at this point. Some quite strong winds are aloft at this point but the any significant weather that is likely to affect us is over here to our east so we should be all right. Now we're at flight level 350 this is probably the closest one so here you can see how that wind is going to affect us look at all of this we're going to have pretty much crosswind all the way except it might be slight tailwind as we get closer towards San Francisco tailwinds I like crosswinds well it just takes a little bit more fuel is what it takes now looking at the cruise profile here we go leaving Portland is our climb all the way up to the top of climb here this is 35,000 feet across the top and then down to San Francisco this line this dotted line this is the tropopause so we are going to cross the tropopause at this point but we will be below it as we go across on our route which means we could have a few bumps along the way so if we end up with bumps we will just have to put the fasten seatbelt sign on we want to make our passengers comfortable okay we have our flight plan we know what we're expecting so now let's go into Navigraph charts here we are in Navigraph charts we click on flight new flight from Simbrief and we bring in the one that we have just made I'm going to go up here to open the charts list because we're going to need to know the airport information and we're going to need to know the parking gates and coordinates and looking at the parking gates what is the one that they use E5 so Echo 5 is over here so that's if that's that's where they departed from was Echo 5 right there if we can we're going to try to get into the same spot so we'll we'll try for that and then here's the departure chart as you can see I'm going to click this pin right here and then that pins it to the bottom so it looks like our route will take us out on this little curve to this particular point there's the mini waypoint and then we will be going south from there all right over here I'm going to go to San Francisco open the charts we're going to need the airport information we'll need to know the parking gates and looking at the parking gates we're looking for F17 is that what it is yes so F17 it looks like it's up here somewhere there it is so we're going to try to pull into the same one United Airlines tend to you know like most of the major airlines they have a concourse which is seems to be all by them and that's how they separate things in America so we're going to try to land at the same one and the arrival chart I'm going to pin that it's coming in here and then going straight down makes the turn at that point and then arrives at San Francisco now if we're coming in on runway 28 right let's look and see what we've got so 28 right here's an ILS runway 28 right category 2 and 3 which is us so I'm going to pin that now I'm going to bring that chart up so it looks like we are going to end up going out here and making ourselves a turn 
to come in to land. So that will be our root in. So that looks like approaches. If we're coming in on 28 right, ILS, here are the options. So it will be likely as not the number one coming in. And then we will make the additional waypoint right out here so that we can make a nice smooth downwind track, make the baseline and then come into final on that one. So we'll show you how we do that when we get into the cockpit to start the programming. All right, we'll close this up. We now know where we're going and there's our route. So, well, what do you think, Father Ludovic? Do you think we can make that? Yes, uh, we can make that. Good. We'll not be sampled. Will not be simple. Well, you're in control. You're going to be captain. I am going to take a free ride today. I am going to perhaps snooze on the route. <laughs> or maybe not. Who knows? All right. Let's go into the cockpit and get everything settled, settled out. Welcome aboard, Dr. Steve. Take your seat in the jump seat right behind you because there are two of us up front. Now, if you were here yourself, you would be in this seat, but unfortunately it is occupied. So today we have Father Ludovic who will become Captain Ludovic. And we are going from where? We are going from Portland to San Francisco. To San Francisco. There's a song about going to San Francisco, isn't there? Yeah, something to that. San Francisco. No, you don't want me to sing. I can't sing. <laughs> okay. Well, we are here at Portland and we are at stand what? Stand A5. We are A5. at E5. That's our starting point. Oh, stop right. Oddly enough, the scenery, when we were loading it, it didn't show it as E5, but it showed it as something else. So... We just played around until we got to where the original United Airlines flight departed from. So we are set and ready, I think, to go. Yes, we are set and ready. And it is raining here. Look at it. It is pouring down. But here in England, in England, it is dry and partly sunny. So we're not doing too bad. But I'm afraid, Dr. Steve, in Portland today, right now, you are under rain. Oh dear. Okay. So I've got the fuel on board. I did. I went around with an umbrella, checked the tires. I was going to clean the windows, but it was raining so hard I couldn't clean them. So eh, that's the way it goes. So you're in control today. So let's go through there. All of the steps. And there are procedures for everything. So, before start, phones are off. In fact, I'm going to put my phone over here so that it is out of the way. So, and I will put my phone over here. Okay. And. IRS most like to, well, we need to turn on the battery first. So battery on. Battery on. Uh, fuel pumps on. One, four. And APU start. APU start. Okay, now we're getting ourselves going. And you could turn on your uh, hi-fi there. And that's that one, and then the destination. That's it, yeah. Now we have information. And the low oil pressure light has come on to show that there is activity, and the engine gas temperature is building up. It's like a small jet engine in the back, you know. Oh, yes. Swinging up, and then it will come back and stabilize. 
and when it does then that blue light will turn on and then we will have power there we go now checking up here we have how many volts 115 we have 115 volts so let's turn the IRS on to nav and then we go to galley on galley on Good. Now we go to no smoking on. No smoking. Fasten and seat seatbelts belts. on. Good. Now we go to left and right window heat. Which is, which is near you. Okay, I'll turn those on then. That's the left and the right window heat. Keep everything dry as best we can. I'm going to turn on the probes because it is a cold day. And here are the hydraulic pumps. They're going on. The forward service hatch is open and the equipment stairs are down because that is where our self-loading cargo is coming on. I was saluting a self-loading friend of mine. Oh, right. And you know, we have a short video of some of the people coming on board. Look at these people. These were taken, this, this was taken by video of Captain Ludovic himself. All right, now we go over here and I'm going to turn on the APU bleed, the recirculating fans and the packs and the isolation valve and we now have heat going through the cabin because it is showing that we are only 10 degrees outside. So we do need heat today. And now the steady light is on. So, we've got everything pretty much set up, so I think that we are now ready to program the FMC. So, the first thing we do is we want to put in our position. Position. KPDX. X. And we are at date E5. Not in database. Not in database. Well, in that case then, go down to next page. Let me see. <coughs> that one which... Oh. No. So go to next page. Next page. And let's look at the charts to see what it says. And what does it say for E5? E5. 45354. Okay. Rest uh, 122354. That's the second one. The second That's one. it. Okay, go page up and then let's put that in. Now we have our right. starting position. Okay, now we go to root. Okay, B, B, X. Okay, and destination? K, S, F, O. Okay, and we are Ryanair. RYR 186 186 Yeah Now we go page down and we put in the route Which will be Diesel The first one The first fixed point Via Q1 Etchy? How do you say etchy? <laughs> the best way you can. Etchy. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. And direct to LMB. Some of those sticks are. Uh, Interesting pronunciation. Oh, very, very. Can I activate? Activate if that's the root. Done. Okay, now that we've got that, we need to go to fix. And with SKSFO. Slash. Slash 4 on the first one. Slash 10 and then slash 13. Now we go to descent, forecast, 
transition level in the United States is flight level 180. 180. So 180, that's it. And then we need to do 200, 150, and 100. And now what is the Q and H for our destination? It's 1019. Okay, 1019. Put that in on the second one down. Good. And then the information for our descent. It's 285, and what is it for? Uh, 28. And it's 290 slash 20. 20. Okay. Got that in, and execute that. Next, we need to go to departures and arrivals, so that put that in, and go to departure. Now we need to find out what the ATIS is reporting. So what's the frequency for ATIS? It's 128. 128 350. 128 350. Portland International Airport Information Delta 1835 Zulu Wind 075 at 13. Visibility 70 light rain sky condition ceiling 4800 overcast temperature 102.6 altimeter 1005 landing and departing one way 10 right and one way 10 left. The FR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have Delta. Well, we have Delta. What is the Q and H for Portland? For the Portland was 1005. 1005, okay. All right, we've got that. So what are we looking at for runways? What did they tell us? We have uh, the 10 left and 10 right. And uh, near of us, we have uh, the 10 left. 10 left is the closest one to us, so yes. let's hope that we get that. So first of all, let's contact and get our departure clearance. So what is the frequency for the ground? 12190, which is... And we're going to go south. South. Portland, ground, Ryanair 186, with Delta, request taxi to the exit departure to the south. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 10 left using taxiway Kilo Kilo 1, contact tower on 119.0 when ready. Taxi, hold short runway 10 left via taxiway Kilo Kilo 1, Ryanair 186. Right, we have our clearance. So, 10 left. 10 left, and what is the departure? Mini 5. Mini 5. We and the transition is the Eastern. Eastern transition. Okay, now we go to departures and arrivals again, and go to arrival, and we're proposing to come in on runway, what was it, 28 right? IRS 28 right. And what is the approach? Is, um, was Bidega 3, that one. Okay, and it would be the Dumba, Okay, all right, Exit. we've got that. So go to legs, now go to plan. And here's where we go through each of these steps. So let's, I'm going to see if I can record this. On yours? Yeah. And, all right, we're going through the steps now just to see how this looks. So here we go, this is our departure route. Now we're going down south, going down the coast. Everything is looking good so far. And I'm just going to bring that up and join it. Milbeck, Lozit, Bodega, and there's the corp. Now, I'm going to make a small change. I'm going to add a phantom waypoint just up here, which would be about that would be about 10 degrees. I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna make it 10 degrees out here and four miles away. So the way I do that is I go in and I put the Dumba in first. I want to make sure that this is 
So I put the number in, so it comes at the bottom, and then I'm going to go zero one zero slash four for our turn, and then put that in right next to it. Now we have a lovely downwind. Go back, go back. The downwind, a nice smooth turn to bring us right in there onto final. So that's how you add the point. Okay, switch back now to map. Now you need to turn on the your damper. Make sure that the flight continuity light goes out. It did. Now we need to set up the flight altitude, which is what? Flight level 350. 350. And of course the flight that we're following, they flew at 370, didn't they? Yes. But we're going to go to 350. 103 here. And I'm going to put 350 in the flight altitude here for the pressurization. What is the... Um, 103 direction. Uh, right. right, but what is the flight landing altitude at San Francisco? The elevation. San Francisco. It's 30, 15. 13. 13? Yes. I'm going to leave it at zero then. All right, if you will put weather on yours, one click, and then double click on the data. I'll do one on the terrain, and and now we'll turn on the TCAS and get this ready to go on there. So we're moving along very nicely. Yes. Okay, now it's ready to go into the route, and let's put in the rest of the information. So route, perform the initialization. Now. We have how much uh, fuel for reserves? 2.5. 2,000, what is it? 2,454. 4, okay, and we have how much for trip and taxi? 4,000. And what? And one. And add those two together and it comes it's to? 6,452 which is closest to 6.5. 6.5. All right, 6.5 in that. And what was the reserves again in number, round number? 2454. So 2454 is 2.5. For reserves, cost, cost index, index is six. six. And then double click the zero fuel weight. Cruise altitude is 350. And what is our cruise um, altitude and wind speed? Uh, we have uh, 287 slash 058. So 287 slash 58. Okay. And what is the transition altitude in the United States? Right there, 180. 180. Very good. And we execute that. Go to N1 limit, go slash 10, good, slash 10, good, that's good. Now take off, we're going to be 10 degrees flaps, center of gravity, and go next page. We are going to be wet, so we we'll put it into wet, page back, and now do each one of those, because it changes all of our takeoff information if it's a wet runway as opposed to a dry runway. Okay, now go ahead and um, put in the map and the heading on there. Good. Flight director on yours. Flight director on mine. Press the B nav. Press the L nav. We have a good flight plan. Auto throttle on. Now, let's do VOR1 on. What is the VOR frequency for our ILS? What is the localizer frequency? It's 111, 1.7. 111.7. All right, that's the localizer frequency for our approach. Yeah. Good. In that case, we are set on that. We've got that set in. Okay. And switching this to RTO, 
we're looking all right. Let's bring the stairs up and the doors. Everything is fine. Our passengers are all on. We wait for the lights to be out and they are. Good, everybody's on. So now we can Right, before start, fuel is good, check, windows are all locked, seatbelt signs are on, door lights out, MCP, program, program. takeoff thrust, bugs, correct, takeoff speeds, set, correct. CDU pre-flight, complete, CDU rudder alarm trim is free and zero, now taxi takeoff briefing, complete. we are if we are there and we need to go to 10, we need to go with our tail to our left yes. and the nose to our right, correct? Okay, so that's our departure. And an anti-collision light is now going on and I'm going to start the Navigraph charts. Right, Navigraph charts are started and it is right here behind me. Good, so now everyone can follow where we're going. So, are we ready now to do the pushback? Pushback. Okay, we have... We have the nose standard and uh, with the nose to the right. To the right, and good. And they select the tug. And then, if we're set, everybody's seated. Crew, we're about to move, so... Go ahead. Target to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Roger that. Ready for pushback. Tail to the left. Can release brake brake, please? Parking brake is off. And I'm turning now the air conditioning packs off. And we'll start engine number one first. So I'm switching this to engine number one for generator. When we start to move, we'll start the engine. And... Brakes released, here we go. And... Engine number one. Engine number one start. So here you can see the engines, the start valve has opened. Open. We're looking at the N2 building up. When this gets to 24, we'll bring in the fuel. And it's getting close. And, uh, there we go, bring the fuel up. Bring the fuel. Now we're looking for the engine gas temperature to start increasing. And it is, that's good. Next, we're looking for the low oil pressure light to go out, and it has. The engine gas temperature is doing very nicely, it's rising very good. You should hear the engine in just a moment. There it is. Okay, switch one off. Check that we have 115 volts. Yes, we, we have. have. Now volts. switch to engine number, number two. two is now the start valve has opened. And now we're looking for 24 to... Uh, come up on the N2, building up very nicely, push back complete, parking brake set, parking brake set, set. set. And 24, 24. bring in the fuel, now we're looking for the engine gas temperature over here to rise, and it's coming up, there it goes, look at the temperature rise, wow, the steering pin is pulled, watch for the slip, release from guidance on your right, and flight, Thank you. and the Light has gone out for the oil pressure. We're building up very nicely. We should hear the engine coming in in just a moment. And there we go. All right, check 115 volts. 150 volts. Good. So, I enter. And then we have good power, good balance. And then I'm going to turn on the packs, turn off the APU bleed, and turn off the APU off. Let's do the taxi lights are on. And everything is looking good. 
across the board. Let's do the checklist. We have a landing. <coughs> yes, look at that. Generators are on. on. Probe heat is on. on. Anti-ice not required. Isolation valve is auto. Engine start levers idle detent. Uh, flight deck door is closed. Recall. Check. Flight controls, check, flaps. flaps. We need flaps 10. And then we'll need to verify the takeoff speeds. What are we changing? 147. 147, okay. Flaps is moving. The flaps are moving and we're coming up. And there we are, we're at flaps 10, we have green lights. And speed brake lever is down and detent. Ground equipment is clear. Yes, it's all clear. So we're ready now to taxi to the active. Ready, ready. somebody else ahead of us. How dare they? Don't they know that we're Ryanair, that we have priority? coming to the right so we're good I must stick my hand down because it's raining it is raining I don't want to get wet either well Dr. Steve how is it so far are you comfortable good all buckled up Glad to hear it. Okay. How have you been, by the way? All right? Good. And left. Well, it looks like we're going to do this one. We know it's K1. We have to do that one. Okay. Look at this, that beautiful 
beautiful mountain. Oh, it was visible just for a moment. There's lightning as well. My goodness. All right, and bounce to M1. We have power is constant. What? Togo, of course, we're on our way. We're rolling. There's the other aircraft. It took off from the other runway. Oh, we've got some vicious winds blowing. V1. <coughs>
to pop into the first class lounge we have some champagne and caviar waiting for you there and I hope that you enjoy and once we are on our descent and approach to San Francisco we'll give you a shout so that you can come and join us okay so we'll see you in a few minutes time enjoy the cuisine Oh, it's 
looks like we have the airport still in sight, but there's still a little bit of low cloud we have to contend with. But we're holding our speed and our descent. All right, everything is good. Now I'm going to continuous. Here you can see right there. See, there's the glide slope coming up on the new, new one. So this is going to intercept that slope. And that's the RMF, so we just fly down that. Thousand 
that's us. We are three white, one red. We're doing fine. We're still within uh, parameters. Still coming in. Clear on the right. 
enough we've just got a fire lorry up ahead ah. look at the detail of all of that incredible detail wow so where do we have to go let's see that's something we have to yeah. We've got to go to now from the A and then I will be made a left turn. Yeah we need to, to the left. Go to kilo then alpha. Kilo turn left and then right on alpha. That will take us around. Are we on alpha now? Yes. Oh. I will be on alpha. Okay. And here I will turn to the right, to the left. Well, we need to go around. Around there. Yeah. Yeah, alpha to the left, that's it. Good landing, by the way. Thank Good landing. Much. I was concentrated to hit someone. <laughs> and we're looking for what? F-17? Is that 17. it? And that will be on the left-hand side as we make our turn in here. Yes. So the next yellow line that takes us into the left, we have to... Yeah, that's this one coming up. yellows and the first one is for all the traffic on the left and we need to find 17 there's three oh no what's that that's eight how many points is it in it's one two three three five what does it's that seven. say? It's, it's on seven. the wall there. It's on the wall. It's seven. The name are different. Yeah, it, they've got it on the... See the yellow thing on the wall? Yes. What's that? 35. Oh, that doesn't match at all. So no. which one will it be? I will call you the next because we are here. Okay. 83. It doesn't match at all? No. Oh, well. But this is where F-17 should be, wherever that is. Watch out for that kamikaze. What is that? 83? 83. The numbers don't match. But this is the United stand, because it's got United signs all over it. <coughs> whatever that is and there's the steps that our passengers are going to take and right, shut down and you can see the terminal building through the glass there beautiful detail 
and there's some parked kamikazes. <laughs> Too late, we're parked. Lovely detail there, lovely detail. All right, let's do the complete cleanup. So, uh, all the lights are off, lights are off. Okay. And all right, and all that off, off, off. Switch those two off. And off, off is already okay. Really off. All right, fuel APU. fuel off, APU off, and battery off. Shutdown is complete. Hmm. Well, Doctor Steve, we actually made it. We, I thought he did a brilliant landing. What do you think? Ah, yes, indeed, he did a brilliant landing, considering that we were told that we were to be on a different runway and he recovered very well. We lost the altitude necessary and we never broke any champagne glasses, not one. So I hope that you approve of the flight. I hope that you enjoyed flying with us, Steve. It was good to have you on board and thank you. Thank you very much indeed for the suggestion. The scenery here is magnificent and so is California. Thank you for flying with us and everyone else will see you next week on another flight of Ryanair 186. Bye everybody!